Alphabet Intelligence Podcast. Afrobeat Intelligence, democratizing African music. Thank you for welcoming me to your city. Abadri, it's not my city now. There's a, there's a governor. I know, but it's still, yeah, you're the people's governor. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you, Jerry. Coming from you, that's, <laughs> that's a lot, man. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is. Like coming into this that's town, me. doing my research and like, I kept spent some time with you earlier, earlier today. And what I noticed is that people defer to you in this city. People do double takes when they see you. Like it's, it's your city, man. This is where I was born. This is the home of the child. Okay, this is, and I think people get it twisted. Chocolate City did not make us. We mm. made Chocolate City. This is well, this. well, the argument that people would say there would, the argument that people would say there, and yeah, the, the argument people would say that while you brought the talent, um, while you brought the talent, they brought the funding and the, the they didn't bring any funding. And I'll give you facts. Why would you say that? I'll give you facts. Hit me, please. What's the record deal? What are the three major functions of a record label when an artist is signed? An artist who can produce his music to, what is their function? The record label is to, is to make sure, is to fund the music. Oh, publish the music. So the only album I have with them, all this discussion is just one of my albums. Okay. Like um, Jag of All Trade. That's the only album you have with them? Only album. Tell me about all my sessions, features, Four years I put put into to make the album. Yeah. One Naira I wasn't paid for. Not one studio session was paid for. So you're telling me now that Jack of all trades, your record label, the people that you're signed to, the people yes. that are supposed to exploit this music that you're making. Yes. And you... I don't like the word exploit. That but, already but, means there's some shady shit going on. But that, but, but that's but, what it well, is. The music industry is shady. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead. The music industry is shady. Yeah, 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 go ahead. So the people that are supposed to exploit yes. your talent and your yeah. art, yes. they had no tangible financial investment in the creation of this music. Jerry, let me be real with you. Okay. Artists are some of the stupidest motherfuckers on earth. Because you can make music, you think you're Superman, and they bring a contract, and you throw all, all of that away for fame. So they got us, man. We had no fucking lawyers. Aldo was our lawyer. No way. That's the easiest mistake to make. The head of the record label was the lawyer who negotiated our contracts on promise. We're just boys, nigga. We're just coming out of Baptist High. We're in Joss, man. What the fuck? Yeah, like, oh, you want to go to Lagos? You want to? So we weren't paid nothing. Not, not nothing. I wasn't paid for Oliku. One Naira. Even Ice Prince. The only money, and he will testify this to you. The only money Ice Prince. Mm, he might shoot me for this. But I think it's off his performances. There was no royalties. It wasn't set up. This is 2009, 2008. Internet is not this internet. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we, were so, just, so, we were just opening Twitter. Was there, was there, was there at, was, at any point while you guys were young and you were coming up and you were making this music and now these people, they've showed up with, with dreams for you people. And now they've given you... Not the, also taken away what they did. Yes. But what my point is, didn't you at any point, did you guys at any point smell that this was not right to so have a lawyer who was also the label CEO negotiate your contracts with this it's like saying it's like it's like playing chess with yourself it's like trying to marry a woman that you already know from the beginning but the human mind argues with itself so you see the signs boom 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 but something still tells you oh do you know what you need to be loyal because they're going to hear that speech Huh. Oh, you need to be loyal. You need to stick to one thing, get it done through. And thank God the first album did succeed. You know what I mean? Yeah. However, what the record label was supposed to do, 18 songs. Okay. Not one production I was paid for. So you, you bought the cost yourself? The only money I made was from performances. 
how were you, how did you fund this at that point? You were young, you had, how did, how were you funding it as, a, as, as an artist? Um, I mean, if you're an artist and you're at that age, <laughs> yeah, that age, that time, you know what I mean? There was money now. It's Lagos now. Yeah. So there's money, man. You're doing, you're doing 20 shows a week. You know what I mean? Some of these young, young cats now know what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Everywhere. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Private party, this one. Yeah. But you're only earning from your performances and the record label still has a cut yeah. from the performances. So you're not making money. You're not making you're, money. You're not making money from the music. You're not making you're money. Making mo the... You're making money because you're an artist. Because you're a celebrity, not an artist. Oh. Because you're popular. So you have to keep pushing that popularity. And then eventually you just get used to that. But the real power is as soon as I give you the album, I have brought 50% of the deal. True. Boom. That's the real secret about it. And so this is such a revelation. Because no, I, I wouldn't have thought that. And it's happening to the biggest of your artists right now. Anybody signed on Universal, Sony, or Warner, read your history. And then, ah, damn. And then, so, when you left, hmm? I, had the, I had your friend, um, and, you know, one, one time, like, label, label met Primo on the podcast. Shout out to Primo. Yeah, shout out to That's a cold motherfucker. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. I, I like to, it's a very interesting person. I think cold. I think Brimo has a lot of things that the world should know. One of the coldest musicians I've met. <laughs> and yeah. I, I spoke with Brimo and Brimo was very, Brimo spoke about his exit from Chocolate City, how he had to go through multiple layers of legal puzzles to be able to extricate himself from their group. For you, how was your exit? Niggas can't fuck with Jags. Okay. He left. Until today, I am the most fed motherfucker in Chocolate City. But they're holding your album. Boss, boss, I just don't have that energy now. If you hold this now, is it their property? Okay, why are they holding your album? What do you think? Tell me about that situation. I've sent them 40,000 e Okay. And I think as a record label, if you have an album like Jag of All Trades and you have not recouped your money, then you're fucking lazy. Okay. Brian was, That's what I mean. Brian was, said, is, Brian this said something like that. This is 12 years. Right? Like, like you're fucking lazy. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Waiting day that is played every mm -hmm. fucking day. Yeah. You have not yet. No, you're just fucking around. You're trying, you're trying to finesse me. Ah, you're not ready for what I'm about to do to you. <laughs> not ready. Uh, there's still time now. Don't worry. I don't just have their time now. That's all. Uh, when you think about this album that they've held, like, and, you know, all of that, how do you feel? The name Jags is bigger than Chocolate City. Boom. You can't hold it forever, man. Do, do you get me? You can't. And I want to be fair. I want to be fair. What the Chuck boys did for Chocolate City, they can never repay us for. When, how did you join first? First, let's just, let's just let stretch out, uh, like, Jesus. lay out the story. Oh, uh, this is really nice. So we're having, we're having, <laughs> we're in my hotel room somewhere in Joss, beautiful city. You like the weather? Yes, I do. Like, I can already feel my skin get better already. Like, Mm. Like that's the thing people in this city have. They have good skins. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a natural. And shout out to Joey. Joey came all the way today from Lagos to record this. Boom! Shout out. No, it's okay. It's I, I'm following the story, Jags. I, I'm following the story, and uh, that, that's what's most important to me more than anything. It's that the best stories get told, mm. the most important stories get told, and I believe you. You occupy a very important part of our culture. The work you've done, the work you do, has inspired millions of people to be able to like express themselves. And so why why so when you told me when you told me you wanted to do this, when your manager hit me up and said, Let's do this in Joss, I didn't have any hesitation. Immediately I was telling him I'm booking I'm booking uh my flight. Because it's important. So 
how did you join? Okay, first. So let me give you the history. Yes, I want I want that. This is the history. Chocolate City is Aldo Paul. Okay. Chocolate City started as a started as a what did they call those things? Like clubs in like universities. Okay. Not called to. I know some clubs. Yes, down, like, your mind don't do it. Maybe, maybe a frat house. Don't do No, not like, yeah, yeah. Like in the Yankee sense. Yeah. Where they just throw house party. Yeah, a frat house. And a frat house. Then it evolved to Gap, what they used to call Guild of Artists and Poets in Joss. We'll just sit down at Bacardi in Joss. Yeah. Poets will be there. Um, intellectuals will be there. Musicians, sculptors, professors, and we'll just discuss as youth. Then it evolved. First artist to be signed was Jeremiah Gang. Shout out to Jeremiah. It's a cold motherfucker too. Shout out to him. Okay, first uh, add Jeremiah Jiang. Jeremiah Gyang. Gyang. So Gyang. We're well, offended in just when you I'm, guys say Jam. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm learning. Like, <laughs> allow me the space to grow. Yeah, Jeremiah I'm, Gyang. I'm better. <laughs> so, Alana yeah. One of the hugest songs ever. Oh, that, was, uh, that was beautiful. Like, it was, it was a soundtrack to all of our, all of us. We all know that record. But then, the record label finessed him. In what way? Nigerian music was evolving. There, that's it, that's it. So that's the song. And one of the worst stories yeah. is that... How, how, how did they finesse him? How do you think they finessed him? Boss. I, I, I studied law, but I didn't graduate for the rest of the year. Okay. But the reason they call lawyers liars is that contracts... Just people have good smoke. They, just. Yeah, no, you like that, right? Yeah, it's really good. So, good. Really good smoke. Shout out to the conglomerate. So we're not alone in here. We have, we, have, we have a bunch of people. There's funny. Shout out to also, I have one of my boys from Zimbabwe here, Razim. Okay. He, he actually makes denim from marijuana. For real? So like the, the industrial side of marijuana right now. Yes. Zimbabwe has legalized it. Oh, and they are no. making their own no. denim from it. Jesus. This is not about, yeah, about even hiring or anything. So. Yes. Shout yeah, out, shout out to Wake Up. What's his shout name again? So I can go look for him. Raise him, raise him, raise him. Raise him. How is it spelled? Zim Royal. Z Zim Royal. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll give him a shout out. I'll, yeah. I'll look at him. I'll look at him. Yeah. So, shout out. yeah, we're talking about um, Giang. Giang. So, Jeremiah Giang. Giang, yes. So, you. this happened now. The finesse is this. The finesse really is this. If you are signed when you are young, fucking idiot. You're just excited for the world, man. Yes, yeah, first time you're going to get free girls, be able to go to the club, have a bottle of champagne. So you really don't understand when you are young what the fuck is they are doing. They'll finesse you now, but I'll take you to the club and just sit down with you. And after your fourth glass, then I'll be like, oh, Baba, meanwhile, this country, I got you. You know, you're my nigga. I got you, man. Yeah. You know, I'll never do you wrong once you put your signature. Oh my God. You are fucked. It all changes <laughs> because you, auto, you, you sort of automatically become an employee. Boom. Boom. And then they don't spend any money, Joey, on the content. The artist has his own studio. We had our own studio. I could already produce. So they didn't need to spend money on a producer, even though I should have been paid for the production of my whole album. Oh. Well, you made these albums yourself, right? Because that's what we do. And so you were never recognized. And that's how they finesse you. So you're saying just because you're multi-skilled, they took that for granted. It's that Kanye West phenomenon. There are very few artists in Nigeria. Burner cannot produce. Weezy can produce. Davido doesn't produce his music. He used to produce in the past. He was once a... Come on. 
He was. Um, that, that, boss, he was, boss. Okay. Yeah, let, let me let me take you to the fourth dimension. Okay, let's hit me, hit me, hit me. How many instruments does Asha play? Her guitar. She plays her guitar. How many instruments I play? Tell me, brother. <laughs> Drums, percussions, bass, e pianos, proper pianos, yeah. saxophone. Whoa. So I'm saying. There's a certain, and no disrespect to anybody, but there's a certain level of skill I don't care about. How did you build the skill? About it's time. That's why I'm not releasing singles every year. When did you start working on your understanding of music and how to navigate across all of these instruments? Jesus is Lord. Rabbi, I started playing drums at age six. Okay. By age nine. Yeah. And confirmed this from MI. Me, MI, White Coleman. The producer of P Square's first album, yeah, had won best gospel group in Nigeria, P Man. I was age nine. I could only drum. Whoa! So I I didn't ever want to have to say what, 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 what the drum <laughs> what what the drumming teach you. If you can't drum, then your mind as a musician is not is not is what they call. Being left-handed and right-handed. Yeah. You can't multitask musically. Mm. So there are artists that just vibe. There has to be a producer. There has to be an engineer. There has to be the palsy on the side. Yeah. There have to be bitches in the studio. There has to be, baba, me, one man. Boom. I record all that myself. Mm. Shout out to E. Kelly. That was who actually taught me to properly shout out to you. and when did you pick up all these other skills when did you pick up the, ne right, right, the next set of instruments can you uh, can you recall when you became interested in the other ones the only other instrument every other instrument i can play apart from bass and sax and even bass i'm not like where shady business is at or, or like a professional basis however music is a skill if you can box, you can figure your way around kickboxing. If you have mastered one, you can apply it in anything. It's about discipline. It's about discipline, about being able to shut what you're doing down. Stay away for two years and develop something. Spend the 10,000 hours. Boom. That's what it's about. You did Flying that. Still, still, free. still doing that. But what still did it long. take? What did it take? Why were you so disciplined to be able to do this? Was it because of a love for the arts or you, you cared about music so much? Because you're considered an original. Boss, fuck the law. What did you fuck. do? What did you do it for then? I believe this. Many are called few are chosen. Okay. The real work you do, nobody's going to see. Okay. My dopest verses, the world is never going to hear. That's my rehearsal. Yeah, I, I do it first for me. And I don't call it love. I call it like, I call it like there's a higher, there's a fifth dimension now. If you, many are called, few are chosen. If you're not chosen, you won't get it. You can't spend that amount of time. You can't discipline yourself. You can't sit down in one place. Ah, so you, you can't spend time. You can read, yeah. you won't do anything. You'll be on your phone. You'll be in the club. You be following girls around, posting pictures, being a model every day. You'll be sucked into like the, the machine self. Why does your, your, your alcohol seem fresher in just, it's just the weather now. Like, just, like, like this is not even fridge frozen. This is just how cold it is. If you keep your shit out. Okay. There's a place called Pangshin. I think you need to visit when you I, come I, back. I will. During the Hamatan, if you keep a bucket of water outside on that peak in the morning, I promise you, bro, the top of the water will be frozen. Whoa. That's how cold it is. That's so diverse, man. And so, and, and so we're, we're talking about like the 10,000 hours. Do you think, when as an artist, 
for you. I am a musician. Okay, I said me sorry. Apologies again. There's artist. Yes. And there's artist. An artist can be a painter or a Okay, cool. As a musician. Yeah, that's yeah. that's oh, that's a better term. As a musician. We're in an you come from a time when artistry you come from the old days. Yeah. You come there was no internet. Yes. You come from a time when artistry was about what you can do. And you had to have as much, you had to build skill. Still about that. But now technology showed up. It's still about that. Yeah, but technology showed up. And what technology did was technology just filled out all the spots that you could have done yourself. And, and technology is man's answer to laziness. Okay. That's the truth. 50,000 years ago, niggas were walking from just to Abuja, man. <laughs> True. Then somebody found out, oh shit, I can tame a donkey. Fuck, let me cut down my hours. So my point is, technology eventually with all this AI, there are going to be no jobs, motherfucker. There are going to be no... This podcast you're doing and AI can run it in 15 years. Yes, and that's why I, I will go to... All right. <laughs> wherever they're creating the latest AI and then I'll find that engineer and I'll take him to Nigeria and keep him in a village to farm he's plant oh, plant, 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 plant 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 abado uh, don't go and create what will kill us <laughs> you said <laughs> so technology is going to be the eventual downfall of man yeah. on the differ, deeper conversations and, and so in music technology altered music boss boss let's go ahead the TV comes, radio comes, boom! Radio is everywhere. TV comes. You remember when kids used to sit down in front of TV and there are seven colors? Yeah. And just a signal tone. And kids are just transfixed on it. Yeah. The internet has killed radio. TV has killed what we call, and what do they call it? The the original media or the traditional Tradition, media. Yeah. traditional media, legacy media. Traditional or legacy media is killing it. People it read has. less. It has. But well, everybody is online. Yeah. Everybody is online. I have friends that there's nothing going on on their phone, but they're on their phone. Yeah, there's nothing. Just scrolling on the screen, waiting that the motherfucker will send them a text. Nothing going on. Wasting all that time. People read less. But if you don't read, then nothing is going to imprint on your mind. Okay? If you don't read, there's nothing in your head. If you're a Christian and you haven't read the Bible top to bottom, you're an idiot. Yourself. You're a, you're a fucking idiot. Same goes for every religion. If you haven't found out yourself, the Quran itself says, seek for knowledge. Yes. If so, it takes you to China. Philosophy calls it like sophistry. You know what I mean? Like if you haven't searched yourself, then ah, it's not. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, it's, what are you here? And so you created all of this. You created all of this, all of this skill. You developed them, put in the hours, and then you, Start bringing them all to beer to create a record. Having the skill, does it make it easier to make music? Having all the skills, does it make it easier to make music? How does that affect your ability to make a song? Really, I'm very disappointed with this question. I want you to tell people Have that I don't you, know. I don't, I want, look, I'm not asking okay, this question for everybody me. listening. You're teaching people. Everybody listening to Jags now. Mike Tyson is 50 what? Just go on YouTube and type Mike Tyson and look at how that nigga moves. Yes, it still looks good. I watched, I watched another fight of his recently. Boss. Looks good. Sorry, I never was going to say this. I am nominated lyricist on the role on SDC's record from Joss. Wow. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, Other yeah. niggas are nominated for their records. I'm nominated for a future on STC's record. Who I respect. Shout out to STC. Boom. Okay. You know what I mean, boy. I get you. So, so you're, you're getting into this prestigious list, this legacy prestigious list, just from being a guest on another person's song. 
That's not a legacy prestigious. No, but Heavis is a legacy platform for our music. Shout out to the Heavis. Yes, Shout that. out to the Heavis. Yes. So, so that's, so whatever they do, I, I always like to call it like this. No, that's why I'm in Joss. To show Joss artists that, yes, I've been sitting here. Yes, we'll get to Joss. I want to talk about Joss. I want to talk about our existence here. That's it. We'll get there. But what I'm interested in, and for Afrobeats Intelligence, what I think it's about, it's about stories and learning. So when I ask questions like, why do, how does building all the skills help you and help you make better music? Like it, um, it's, it's, okay, okay. it's, 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 all the artists, all, all the artists. Let me actually answer this. What I mean is, this. okay. What I mean when I said, let me explain what I was. Yes. Yeah, the boom. I get you. Is watch my t Mike Tyson when the. Age of internet. Okay. So every artist, listen. Google Mike Tyson practicing this year. The older you get, the faster you should become. Yeah. Wiser you should. All of life is experience. True. So experience. Experience. Don't be at a show recording from your phone for other people to watch where you were present. Watch the show. All these shows we're doing. Baba, our fans come to shows now and are watching our shows from their phones. Yeah, that takes away from the from the joy though. And I'm looking at how many people are watching from their own platforms on our event. They're not watching us, they're not listening to us. They're not silent. When you want to actually pass across a message, they're not quiet. They don't, they're not present anymore. When that happens, do you think it takes away from the moment? For you as a performer, seeing that happening down, down, do you think it takes away from the moment? For what music business is, it doesn't. It looks pretty. And then it also broadcasts whatever is happening to more people. Do you know when the people at the show go and watch the show? At home. But in, in a sense, they're, the they're, they're morning promoting after the club. But in a sense, they're promoting you. No. Because no. you do the show. No, they're promoting themselves. Yes, by using, by amplifying you. So my point is this. Okay. In the last days, men will be lovers on themselves. Yeah, their primary driver. We're, we're now in a time that is, it's what fucking crazy. It is, we have to. We have to speak truth to what it really is. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So, um, for, for me, is that, is that selfish thing. The greatest picture in the world is called a selfie. A picture of yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> was this why, was this, this your, this your focus on self? This your focus on, it's a focus on, humanity and experiencing life and self-development. Is this the reason why there's a gap between your projects? Does that explain it? The gap between your projects? I think your projects are a reflection of my... In what way, sir? I'm a thug. I'm a thug. I'm anti-industry. Fuck the industry. I'm independent. Okay. Own my six masters apart from Jagger Watry. Shout out to Chocolate. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, I get you, Papa. I get you. I get you. You must be so proud of that. I'm free. You know what I mean? So I can say what I want to say, and I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm, it's, it's music now, Baba. Yes, it is. Listen to the music. Listen, don't just bob your head to the beat. Listen. Understand the game and listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Not how I'm trying to just make you feel. Look, okay. stop. You're considered, brother, you're considered a, an outlier. You're seen as someone who, extremely skilled, super talented, and has demonstrated that at the highest levels. But you're seen as a reckless. 
you're seen as a person who, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you how people see you. Yes. You might not be that. Yes. And, and, no, I, no, and I'll no. get to the question. Let me tell you the truth. I'll get to the question. Let, let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you the truth. I, father was an equa pastor. Shame does not kill. So I set out to be this. To show people that a man should be just respected for what he does, not what he says, not what he claims to be. Okay. Who he is. Yeah. So I, I really do not give a fuck. Focus on, on what is. I make music for me. If you don't like it, don't listen. If you like it, then listen. If you don't or you do, it is music and it has been made and it will live forever. What are the pros of your independence? What, what does it afford you? What's the central thing it affords you? Freedom. A why, man, why is freedom so important to you? That you would, that you would. Because it's not what we're fighting for now. But, but if Africans can be given, can freedom be given? Can something free be given? No, you can't take it. You have to take your freedom. That's the beginning of the job. That's the whole job we're doing. Look at the schools we went to, man. Nigga, they brutalized us in schools, man. We went to a boarding school you can survive in prison. Anywhere in the world. Where, where, where did you school? <laughs> Shout out to Baptist High School. Oh, okay. It was, yeah. Ah, okay. I schooled in, I schooled in Federal Government College, Okigwe. Ah, but by FGC. Let me not even speak about FGC. FGC. We suffered. But in our Baptist school, our principal was a white man in the 90s. But there was black on black violence. So you were more brutalized by your brother than the foreigner. The, the foreigner is just there to maintain order. We're slaves. The white man walks inside the room, black people begin to recalibrate inside themselves. Slangs, we no suppose they go begin flow out. There's something that has been removed from us, boss. If Grammy does not nominate an African artist, he's not respected in Africa. We don't have our own. We don't know who we are. I feel this to the world is happening. Seeing and guys, now see Gavi that too, in case someone from now they try yeah, to we just, we just let us see. But now we no get job. Shout out to ND. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the same. The cigarette. Good cigarette. So, Afrobeats to the world is happening. And we are seeing, we're seeing multiple people. No, you, you can, you can say you want more alcohol. Okay, please. Me. Can I have, um, booze from, I hope, I hope, I hope it's actually a little bit of <laughs> Trophy. Shout out to that. So you're drinking fucker. trophy because of Peter Ovi? No, no. Shout out. I'm doing this for free. Shout out. I've, I've followed everybody. I think he's a brilliant motherfucker. But in case you enter presidency, Peter, and you forget your work, I will clear your doubts for you. So you're, so you're, 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 Peter, you're, you're, you're a part of your campaigning for Peter Ovi? I'm not. I'm just saying he's a brilliant motherfucker, but he has to work or he got too many problems for English at the same time. Okay. There's work to be done, man. He has to do a lot of work. There's work to be done, man. Are you, okay, cool. Thank and, you. Cool. And then, Afrobeats to the world has happened. Yeah. We've seen foreigners. And I use the word foreigners with all the, it's all the utmost respect because we're locals, foreigners. No, 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 no. We're locals, like we we're foreigners to them. Yes, no, we're, no. I'm, but they don't I'm, use that word for us. Well, they use Africans for us, Yankee. They don't say we're going to a foreign country. So we're going to Africa. But we're, we're seeing we're seeing people from the ends of the earth, people across the Pacific, across the Atlantic, come down to this market, sign our artists, take the music, and export it to their markets yep. and to distant places. Yep. It has given a lot of us money. I mean, us as an industry. Selling our wealth. It's giving a lot of us money. It's giving people, just a bit, it's giving people the chance to be able to 
build careers in the music business and to be connected to like a global space. We've given people more numbers for the first time. Yeah, people in this country. No, let's not say the first time. Okay, okay, sorry. The okay. Fella Didi. okay, cool. For for Africans, no, China did no, no, for the uh, no, hold on. for the first no for the first time in no, nice did it. Yeah, for the per, <laughs> for the first time in our market in our industry for the first time in our industry we finally hacked a way to be able to make money from the MP3 file itself rather than being an artist and a celebrity. But it is not the new kids that did it. It is an eventual product of evolution. Yes. It would have happened anyway. Another generation will come and will do greater than this one. Another one will come after and greater than the other one. It's an eventual stream of, of growth and development. Everybody has to do their sweat. Other Nigerian artists are going to win 19 Grammys. Yeah, eventually. Hey, it's just one. Everybody don't they menstruate. <laughs> it's new. It's new. It's new now. I'm, I'm upset because white man, no music past black man. Of course not. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Of course not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Joey, does the Caucasian man carry rhythm inside it? So we're relying on somebody that cannot even hear natural rhythm to verify us while he's mining our well, our content. We don't own Google, we don't own Boomplay, we don't own Apple, we don't own what? Old slave meal is grinding slow, but grinding still. Still grinding. All these pipelines that have been plugged into our art, all these boots on the ground connecting us to, to multiple places. We don't own anything. Papa, we don't we just, own. We're just taking money and giving, and giving them the best of us. All record labels in Nigeria are affiliated to international. Any record label that is doing well is affiliated to an international label. So the artist is signing three deals. Universal, your record label, your management, then you. But you have to keep up that facade that everything is going good. One day it is going to end, Baba, and your whole catalog. <laughs> hey, Lele. Ask Brimo. Ask Brimo why he escaped. And why since that day he has remained by himself? Ask him. Freedom? Jesus. Now an artist is, the only equation I can give you is like being a prostitute. And I'm not even a, like I'm not even a woman, but like to be used yeah. by the whole world. When these same fans turn against an artist, you have seen what happened. It's brutal. It's very brutal. Then the artist will still be online tweeting at the fans. This guy, oh, he no paying you. Why are you paying you now? You choke. <laughs> you even get that time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Is this why? Is this why you you have not signed the deal? Is this why you haven't taken advantage of this thing that's happening right now? Shout out to Chocolate City, your motherfuckers got me twice. I'm come for you. Well, how about the place of partnerships? No, I, I do a lot of partnerships right uh, now. Okay. Do a lot of partnerships. Um, so you maintain a, a strong level of control? Shout out to Larry Gaga. Okay. It's my peeps. Well, uh, Larry Gaga is good people. He's a personal friend. Good people. Very good. Very good, good people. people. So, um... Being an independent artist this long, I have direct access to boardroom people. Yes. I've cut out the middleman. So when you mention Larry Gaga, there's a name that gets to my head. When you mention Larry Gaga, there's a name that gets to my head. Should I mention it? Yes. Def Jam. 
I'm good. <laughs> From here. From where I was sitting with you. I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'll allow you to make your announcements. I can, I no, not like that. I'm not good, good like that, but... Well, I'm good. Let, let corporate lead. <laughs> let, let corporate lead. I'm but, good. Let corporate lead. I'm very good with him. Shout out to Larry Gaga. He's one of the few C, um, CEOs, businessmen, you know what I mean, entertainers who actually put their name, put their word back, back everything. Shout out to Clarence yeah. Peters. So, so I met Larry Gaga in 2018 when I joined Universal. I was one of the earliest members at the company when they were setting up and setting up in Lagos here. Like I was one of our, or one of our artists and more than anything, beyond anything, one thing I respect about Larry Gaga is does it for the passion. He's in it because he loves music and he's been around for so long. Now, now let me tell you something, the way I move and every artist relate to what I'm going to say. Some niggas will treat you good. Yeah. Some won't. Okay. Larry Gaga is a stand-up nigga. He treated you well. Stop. He held you down. You know, Lagos is a very fake place. A stand-up nigga. Was down with you. Clarice Peters. Fucking stand-up. That's another person. Max. It's a stand-up nigga. <laughs> now, Clarence Peters is a, is a very stand-up. He's one of the, he's one of the realest people I've met in this world. I spent time with him in his studio. Pure creative. Yes. Doesn't he say that? He has saved me many times. His soul, his soul is so pure. He knows what I'm when he hears this, he does now. Clarence Peters' soul is so, is so pure. <laughs> That's why I like him. He's one, one of the few remaining people with such so pure souls. The few stand up niggas. What's going on in Nigerian music industry now? Niggas is selling their souls. And when I say souls is, Papa, one signature will tie your generation forever. Like, no free yourself. But. And so, what I was asking is this. What do you think is the best? Because you can't, you can't tell me that. Yeah, yeah. You can't tell me. This that, is my advice. This is my advice. Yeah, okay. And I tell every artist. Ah, uh, tell me. M.I. was doing music when he signed. But when he signed, that one bullet entered inside the stratosphere. If you don't know why you are doing it, even in your mistakes, you're not going to make it out. Ice Prince did it. I did it. Primo did it. Weezy did it. Davido did it. Bernard did it. One sign in. Took, took one bullet in the chamber. That's my Zazazu. Come on, motherfuckers. Hey, so I'm not opposed to signing. I'm saying no artist can make it alone, of course. Yeah. But if you don't know why you're doing it, and even if it turns into a problem, there's no artist that doesn't bitch about the former signings they did, but they made it out. There's a stratosphere that if your name is not inside. <laughs> Boom. Sorry. Okay. Jerry, what do you think about Joss? What do I think about Joss? How, uh, I think you how guys, do you feel? how do you feel? I feel After good. This break. I feel good. I feel happy. <laughs> I feel like I belong here, that yeah. I am one with the earth. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to shout out to, to, to Old Testament hospitality. Yes. <laughs> so, so let's with you, Jesse Jags. One thing you did with how you present yourself to the world, how you have navigated Earth and communicate people. Yes, you have had an, you, you've always had an anti-establishment stance. You all, you've always been very power to the people. Yeah. Think for yourself. Yeah. Emancipate yourself. Do what you want. Free yourself. Free yourself. Yes. 
free yourself from not just even the power from like the things that hold you back the same things that make you hold you one yes. day after so that's what you've always been yeah. about how has the world reacted to you being this person fuck the world they're all they're all what? listen listen and let me say this now on radio on podcast I forgot oh, on, oh sorry sorry podcast. sorry not on radio <laughs> fuck the radio fuck radio <laughs> You guys are old school. You guys are a dinosaur now. <laughs> I'm on a podcast. I can swear. Fuck you guys for burning redemption and burning sex and scorchers. <laughs> redemption was banned. Banned. Baba is walking to radio stations. Banned. Redemption. Murder them. Burning bush. Sex and scorch. That's why a lot of my music wasn't played because what I was talking about was no. It would just be like, nah. So they couldn't find a way to... Now, like, some people have said worse things than you have said in the past. And and they get airplay on radio. Like, there's Bonner Boy's Last Last. It's been blasted on radio. And what does it say? I need marijuana and I need... Remove Bonner Boy. Remove Bernard. Bernard is a real artist. Okay. Bernard is a real artist. No, no, no. It's, it's not a diss. I'm just... So saying. remove him. I'm talking about the copycat. Okay, the copycats. Talking about people that... I call them culture vultures. That's what they call them. <laughs> yeah, they, they come around what is real and they water it down. They hook their tentacles into it. Thank you. The and water and then they water it down. Water it down. Water it down. So when you yeah. were being banned as an artist, then you were pushing for yourself, self-actualization, and you didn't have as much tools as we have now to consume yeah. the so distribution was not distribution and promotion was not decentralized by uh, universal wasn't fucking with us then yes so <laughs> yeah so being so in a manner of speaking you're seeing the industry shut you out by banning radio shut you out by banning your record. radio and then when you leave your record label and this is the difference there are many artists after i left brimo left wheezy left yeah there, there was a sort of a revolution of artists from town, yeah. Vector. A lot of, sorry, a lot of artists started having problems with their record labels and their, so um, I don't take fame for it. I don't take claim to it. I studied the greats and I understood that unless an artist knows what his content is, he's nothing. Unless he himself doesn't know the value of it, then it's not. Even if the whole world tells you no, you follow them, you don't fuck up. Hey, 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 God. Human being, this human being. So when you left your, your record label, where you shuttered, do you think there was like a concerted effort, a contrived concerted effort to shut you out? Sir, not just to shut me out but to fuck with the artist in what way emotionally well i was shut out so first of all my problem with chocolate city wasn't just that chocolate city at this point had not had an album like that nation come you see abby cc yes cc spending too much time on this no, we're getting to other things. This is a long podcast, Jesse Jacks. Right, let's, let's yeah. Go. So you were talking about CC. Yeah, CC. So we were talking about being shut out, or being messed with emotionally. So there's a lot of, and ask Brian, same thing as ice sprints. We used to go for meetings where our men did not cool up almost. To, yeah. Yeah, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. It was heated. Blah, blah, blah. It, it was like heated. It was, yeah, it was getting heated. However, when I did Die Nation come, they had never heard music like Bernie. Yeah. I was talking about shit. I think there's a, this is like, I, I think what the, tough fuck is I think jags. I heard the song recently that took from Bonin Bush. Do you want to hear it? Song is that? Let me play it for you. <laughs> I'll just go I straight to the part. Enter the person. No, no, don't <laughs> enter this person. Okay, this, person is, this person is good to me. I love it. Let's go. But if I don't hear it, I'll tell you. If I don't hear it, I'll tell you. And I steal a lot from other people's 
Let okay. me just show you someone there. I'll, I'll just show you something. Okay. Okay. The back end uh, connected. Let's go. Should they hear me listen if you can hear it? This one now, and the no number one. Brrr, we kill sound, sound, chunk. So, Miss King, Miss King, got me ready for the cruel world. Skimming and blood in the silence of me, I feel no cruel loud. But it dry on my wrist, I be steady on a grove now. It's a jungle of a go out, go out, slow down. Slow down. Bring a bad boy from the snow. Now, it's a jewel of a go, wow, go, wow. Sing up my voice and smoke my bomb blood, oh. And the grace of God, a yeah. family of God, and say I know the fair fire. Jump be your boy, you go fast, I. Then you miss a laugh and you're the great fire. If you're hitting, you go bad, I. Say I know the fair fire. Jump be your boy. I but think, who's this? I think you should work with him. Who's this? His name is uh, Victorne. Um, Victorne. No, no, I know Victorne. You should work with him. I think you guys. I think you guys would make. Amazing sounds music. nothing like me. That's so. No, I'm not saying it sounds music. like. No, sounds fucking original. To me. I, I, I'm saying I can hear some parts of Burning Bush in that. Ah, nah. Okay. Nah. Should I tell you the part I heard in it? It's definitely Burning Bush. Let's go. Burning Bush. Go oh, oh, for it. Oh, <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Well, in Bush. Oh, oh my man. God, Julie. I'll oh, shout out oh. to Victoria, man. Yeah, beautiful shout person. Out. Beautiful person. Billy B. Shit is original. Babe, I know that she's the daughter. Even when she wake up, eating in the truth, set up a trouble fire. Freedom for the youth. Let them let the truth set fire to the bush. Early when she wake up, some say a prayer, but sure they go fake up. Daughter of Eve and the seed of Jacob. Early when she wake up, early when she wake up, set the fire, save her now. That she's the daughter of Abraham. Some say she's the faithful one. Somebody better save me now, save me now. Trudge evil shoes, dig such a season. No, 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 no. No, 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 already therapeutic which, which which brings me to this question about your art history what's unique about your art history is this you're a rapper but you're also at heart enlightened you can fall into hip-hop you can also fall into reggae so what i mean is this how are you able to blend both of them into one thing and made that thing pack such a strong punch to become successful. Many are called. Ask any successful person this. Ask Vector this. You only follow his heart and his, and his muscle. You stop working, boom, dead. Can't evolve, boom, you're dead. You are not making music for another generation, boom, you're dead. When you die, you're dead. Boom. All this vanity at the end. And you did this in a way, and no, no, nobody could understand it in terms of like mimicry. So when I when people talk about artistry, when they say, you know, people can say, am I when Whiskey blew and people and every artist you spoke to then wanted to be the next Whiskey. Yep. When Bonavoy. And they're too many. Yes. Like I fear for them because yeah. they're too many yes. the mimickers yes. around of. Of those three artists. Well, guess, yeah, well, guess yeah. what you would never hear? I'm someone that does try and sound like Jago. I want to be like Jesse Jackson. No, you can't. You can't share that. No boy, no. You won't die. <laughs> so this starting into, so when you started making records, records like Redemption, at some point, this is what we saw. We saw Jesse Jags at Chocolate City. The make, way you make, dance in yeah, my yeah. Gabby. Uh, yeah, we saw you. Happy guy. So you mean does was that was that you? Yes, I was young. Young then I was excited. 
happy to blow. My daughter was about five at that. At what age did you have a child? So, so. 20. 20. 16. No, I can't give out my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, I people who doesn't know she's fine. It was 21. I was 21. Yeah. Yeah, she's so grown today. Yeah. Well, we spoke earlier about She doesn't like it at all. <laughs> doesn't like the fame. Or... Yeah, shout out to That's beautiful. And so, with a Chocolate City, was that you? That pop, those pop records that were very fluffy. What they were in pop. I had 18 songs. What, what happens in music is this. The song that blows is never the true representation of what the artist wants to say. I had songs with Eve who has passed away, my brother. About me and Emma and me and Ice and putting it into a context of having a brother or a family member from here who goes abroad and live there. And one day his kids come and you find out that Baba, they cannot even talk to each other. Nobody listened to that. Nobody listened to Sugar Cane Baby. Nobody listened to the deeper songs on the album. People took out the dance. Waiting day to day. I forgot and didn't listen to the rhyme. And at that time, internet was just coming. So for me, Jungle of All Trades was more of a production. Of you were very, you were very experimental. Fun. There's so many genres inside. It used to blow our mind so much about what it used to blow our mind so much, what you can do with the with the console, man. The production. Not it used to. Okay, if I no, catch no, no, you in I, the studio, I'll break no, I, 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 I know you still do it, and I'm looking forward to your new project, and we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah. Well, for me, it was more that back then. Yeah. Back then, you were like a unicorn. Still are. Uh, yes, yeah, still are. Still are. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to, like, um, yeah, yeah. I, I get you. I get to you. To be able to find me or see me, find me. Yes. <laughs> even, even, yeah. even, I, had to, I had to even come down to just to find you. So at the same time, at the same time, I want this to say, Joe. Yeah, talk to me, brother. Joe, I dare any African artist born after or on the year of 1984 to play me six albums that have that amount of content. I'm not talking about dance music for women. I'm not talking about nine songs about breast and yash. Okay. Yeah, I'm not talking about vibe. This new era of where there's some musicians that call themselves the vibers who just come and get high and just and finish a song in one night. And give you a good time. What good time? In the moment. You're, you're ecstatic, Jesse Jack. You're ecstatic. Can't split that. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, that's what people are vibing too. Come on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then something else you also did during your time. Something else you also did during your time was you were very, you were very particular about the aesthetic you gave out. First, what is your connection with? I'm trying to find the right words. I don't sound like salt into a, to a. You were a Rastafarian. Rastafarian. I am. You are a Rastafarian. Don't use past tenses. Okay, sir. I, oh. I apologize. Uh, so, so you are a Rastafarian. Yes. And I'll explain why. Tell me, how did you discover Rastafarian? Hill Salasi. Yes, Hill Salasi. That's a new song with my album. Look after. Um, so it is because check your YouTube, please. Everybody listening, you have phones, you have data. Check. Only evidence on earth. King Gaili Salasi, elect of God. King of kings and lord of lords. 
last king of it's the last black and white videos no audio you see kings from England, from scotland bowing down to me niggas were riding lions that there is a history to you oh black man who is listening if you like don't go and dig up your history they are finished and how did this speak to you Baba is everything it's everything though yeah. if a man does not know where he's coming from he cannot find where he's going okay Easy, Michael Jackson. Started out as a black boy, died as an old white woman. <laughs> For the price of fame, yeah. died broke. Isolated from the world. Can no longer just he walk was... out on the streets. I, without... I like to think he was the first celebrity, celebrity. There's no celebrity on earth that can sacrifice his life for. Maybe Kanye West is going to what Michael Jackson. That level of pain that you have to cover your own face. Yeah. To even just exist. Just walk out and see the fucking sunlight. Baba, I want to just buy my maze. Sit down for Rudu. Agbato. Ah. <laughs> Chop um, <laughs> Buy my... <laughs> My nice plantain and um, fish down with the good men on the street. Eat them, oh. Ah, I no come for problem, oh. <laughs> And so when did you, when did you, when did you become dedicated to this way of life? And what has it given as a person? I grew up poor. Not poor, poor. You know, there's, you know, in Africa, you have to be, you have to be real. There's poor, poor, there's poor. There's, there's, the there's somebody in Papa no get shit shit. No, no, no. My Papa, my Papa na equa pastor. So you were in the 20s. Ah, but we were poor. But we were poor. Yes, but you had limitations. However, financial however, limitations. However, let me tell you why I'm this rebellious. Every year we do fast. Christmas, because child. Wow. So, some years ago, maybe one of my popsy's friends could just say, Baba, make I, because he wasn't working, a pastor. So me and M.I. grew up. The only thing we had, Baba, from when we were young till now, the music. M.I. is the only other rapper in Nigeria that is inside the stratosphere that produces his own music or has the skills to even know how to mix his own music and master it. Niggas is lazy. Out of 250 million people. <laughs> because it's lazy. And when you follow this, this way of life and, and when you put it in your music, what are you trying to tell people? You can do it, man. You're inside the matrix. When you sleep, you don't go wake up for your dream again. So your body, they sleep, but your spirit, they are awake somewhere. They walk up and down. But when you're inside another matrix. They tell you no, they are telling you yes. The universe is telling you yes. People tell you yes, they are deceiving you. Shout out to the politicians. Politicians will tell you anything you need. To him who sits on that throne, you must understand that the throne is only a king's chair and him who sits there, he must be sincere. Talking about, are we not all good? Eight years, all human beings alive right now. Okay. You were very, you were very, in your aesthetic, you can make smoking cool. Even at the time when it wasn't the norm, when people were so, when people were so scared of this moralist country, this conservative, hypocritical, I think we're very hypocritical here. No, 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 I have no respect for that. But this conservative, this country that pretends to be a conservative country, and you were smoking in your videos, you were, at some point, people 
Many are called, few are chosen. Yes, but at some point, people said it got to you and the smoking mm -hmm. habit fucked you over. That's what, that's what made its way to the news. Do you know what? You live in a materialistic society. Joey, if tomorrow you go back to Lagos and you don't have the new house in Lekki Phase 2 or in one of these fucking nonsense areas, Banana Island or somewhere, these same religious people who haven't read the books will come and judge you. Sure. And then you sell yourself for some bullshit. Is there a road to drive Bentley in Lagos? At all. There's no road in Lagos for that. A crazy people. So are you going to be crazy? Are you going to follow the highway? Are you going to enter inside the bush and cut your own? And every day is going to be thrown in your face. Every day we did answers. Did anything come out of it? Nothing. As a collective, all of us. Nothing. Now I'm talking to everybody. Nothing, nothing has changed. Anything come out? Are nothing. we not worse off now? Yes, we are. Is our relationship with the security people not worse off It now? is. It is. It's so fractious. And the same horrors that we protested against, they still exist to this day. The same musicians who were taking pictures with Hush Puppy. They, ne they not delete them. Did anybody stand up for him? Are we not a vile and wicked people inside? Don't we see the truth and deny that's why we're... That's why. All these Peter will be Peter will be where people they shout, Baba, they go... These people... <laughs> you can't trust them. Ah. We can't trust ourselves, man. We can't trust ourselves. <laughs> Shout out to Peter will be Baba be wise, man. Enter the ghetto. And be a man of the people. Don't be afraid to die. And work for the people. Can you pass me that, please? And so was that planted? Was that, was that something that people did to mess with you? Was that what so you were talking Chocolate City. Because you're signed. So they're talking with Linda AKG. They're talking with not just O. So if they want to close the tap, they, Baba, they have fucked with how many... Where, where is Cynthia Morgan? Cynthia Morgan signed away her own name. Even Kiss Daniel. Come on. He has Long to Tunnel, Fector, Brian Moore, Ice Prince, Wheezy. And your most identified. Your most unique identifiers. Boss is, is Chocolate City going to tell me well, that on top the song Waiting Day, they have not been able to recoup their money. Did they pay for my fucking production? Did they know how much they beat? Chai Wataho is what? Come on. There's no court in the world that would absolve them from. I just don't have their time now. Shout out to you. I just come first. So are you saying at some point you're going to face that and, and deal with that situation? Boss, how do is my bro? Holds it. My daughter go catching, won't pick him for one alumni one day. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about? You know, with a touch. Uh huh. Bit shaky, come on, scare my And how, how, how did you deal with that? Knowing that you're being misrepresented, like, like deliberately, you're being deliberately mis. Yeah. You're being, it's good to see you, man. Like, I'm so happy I'm seeing you. It's been a while. <laughs> Last time I saw you was in 2015. Paul's VIP oh, night. Oh, yeah, we're organizing Paul's TV. Yeah, I just wanted to tumble the leaders. Yes, I, we, we almost I did it. I think you guys created the beef between Emma and I. Um, Emma and Vector. I think it was Paul's. Sorry. Yeah, it wasn't in my time. Was Maybe not my time. But back then, not my time. <laughs> Shout out to Vector. But, but that's, that's the last time I saw you. It's my brother, man. So how did this, how did this, how, how did this fuck with you? This, this, it didn't fuck with me. How were you, how did you react to it this? It made me strong. To, to this misrepresentation. It made me stronger. What did you do to like go past this? It made me stronger or it taught me what? The artist is the most powerful person. Finds content from where it does not exist, like a painter, a sculptor. It only exists as an idea first. 
He's a creator. Um, I'm not talking about vibers. Talking about artists who have the gift to play music, who can play instruments, who can sleep at night and freestyle in their dreams. That level. And then being able to work it out every day, work it out, spend those hours. There are levels to this. There are levels. I have some questions for you. Ask me a question, brother. So, Joey, I removed Lagos, Abuja, and Portago. You have been around Nigeria. You have traveled a lot. What is your advice for artists in these other states? In these other states? Yes, unless they have to go to like Lagos. Lagos is the end point. Look, if you go to Lagos and you're serious, you blow. I'm not fucking her. That's the truth. But when you go, don't make your bullet no hang from inside the chamber. Go hold you back forever. Shoot them once, make them. What's your advice for these? It's about, it's about connecting to the center more than anything. We understand that being in all of these other cities, you're far from the center and you're far from the center and you, all the tools you need, all the connections to be able to operate in the, in, in the space. It's in Lagos. So what you need to do is to find, build your own pipeline to that center. You can blow in your market. You can be credible locality. You can have the pain. You can have all of that. But I do believe that you have to find a way to play that game that is played center. And guess what? Just a bit. With Afrobits to the world with, with the kind of infrastructure and structures that have been laid, that are being laid current. It's easier to do that now. You want to release your music. You stay on the internet. You build your community, a very strong community. People will not ignore numbers. So how, if an artist has... And then, and then when, you an, build, when okay, you build, just, okay. when you build that community, you then move to, you then... Go to the people who have this, this access, this, all these things. On the distributes, you go to where the biggest distributor, you go to Universal, Empire, Platoon, Orchid, Orchard, all, all of that stuff. But you must have a community following you already that they can go on. Yes, fast. yes. Nobody, oh, okay. nobody would set you up. People would add fear to your fact. You need to, you need to have your own. That's what gets you into the room. Leverage. Numbers represent. Shout out to all the Good example. Good. Good example. Good example. Omale. Omale was not embraced by Apple Music, Spotify, or all of these people at the start. Omale's blowing was street radio. Street. Okay. Organic. And when he, when he proved himself and the people loved him and his numbers, now people, they go find out for those places. Those people had to scramble to be a part of his story. That's okay, Joey, is. Joey, talk about structure to these, to these kids. Well, structure, structure is just something you install to make you be the best of yourself. Structure is can be as tiny as knowing that every day to make a song, every day I need to write an article, every day I need to write, every day I need to, you need to make a song. Guess what that does for you? It gives you a steady supply of content and improves your creativity. The more you do, the better you become. Then down to how you run your business. On a personal level, outlining things. This is where I'm going to. This is how I need to get. This, these are the things I need to do. How do I take advantage of the world right now and infuse it into my work? So you set up your content plan. You set up your parameter, your rules of engagement. You set up, 
you set up all of these things. You set up, you make sure you're able to be the best version of yourself. You find the things that make you work. Make sure you don't rely on inspiration. It's work. Someone goes to work nine to five. Should, when you go to work to vibers, moon, I hear inspiration yeah. is not everything. Yeah. So when you, when you, there is no discipline yeah. behind it, yes. you cannot Perfect. maximize. Because you always need to constantly demonstrate this talent. If you're not playing the game, you would never win. Third question. That's what, that's what structure is. Know, knowing to, what to do to, to make the you young the best artists, so what is self-development? And what I mean is this. I'm not talking about that. You now walked and walked and you now have 2 million followers. But when I enter studio, you know fit even know how to set up studio. Self-development there is just, self-development in terms of artistry is just improving on your abilities. Making sure you're the sharpest, most talented, most, talented, most disciplined version of yourself. That's self-development. So if you need if, if you need to, like, whatever you're doing, eh? take that thing that you're doing, whatever you go to the highest levels of the art. Place that thing you have created beside that, the highest levels of the art. The things that represent the highest levels of it. Place it beside it. When you look at what you have, and, and what's it, is there a difference? Oh, me, I know how to do it. It's so like, you do it well. But I want you to talk to the young artist, which is yeah, no, how, how, how can, how, how so is massive when you stuff. have improved? When you're better than yesterday, how do I know? I do, do you sometimes record yourself to hear how you sound? When I bought podcast equipment for, for two months straight, all I just did was just record. I hear yourself. Yes. Every day. I know how you want yes. to sound. How I want to so where how how I, how, 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 how I want to use my voice, how I need to use, how I need to talk, how to be comfortable with the mic. It's a motor skill. The more you do it, the better you get. Volume is everything. We're in the age of hyper abundance, mm. hyper competition, mm. hyper connectivity. Mm. Why? Hyper Why? spirituality. So that's what it is. It's just basic life. And I believe if more people can take personal responsibility for their existence, I believe we'll have a better world. Do you think existence is responsibility? What is it? I didn't get that. Existence is responsibility. Yes, it is. Nobody knows why you're here. They just, we just appeared here. Every, everybody. The same way you come out. That's how you come out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. All of us get belly button. Umbilical cord. So all of us used to come out. We don't know where we've been there before. We... So. All right, Joey, back to. <laughs> back to you, sir. Back to you, sir. Nice one, guys. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Afrobeat. Afrobeat Intelligence, brother. Shout out to Jens. Shout out to you, too. The CIA of music in the world. I'm enjoying this so much. <laughs> also, like, do you know why? I'm the reason why I thought you weren't going to do this podcast. Because I, somehow, like, I'm not the best, best of terms with your brother. And, 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 yes. Why? Why happened? It's just a dick measuring contest. It, it's just, oh my God. Yeah, you know, you know it, Emma is relentless. Yes, I know. I know. He told, to me, he told me. He told me. He told me that, he told me in, in his words, I don't go for touch. I, I, I don't go for touch tiger. And, 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 me yourself. and I'm also relentless, Jesse Jacks. I'm also relentless. So you guys are going to, but, no, but he'll, he'll be on the podcast. podcast. He'll come on the podcast. I know he'll come on the podcast. No, he will. He will. Yeah. You know him now. He doesn't. Yeah. From to, to, yeah. He'll yeah, come. He doesn't come. Come. So eventually I'll start sending him those messages that I used to send like that. Shout out to <laughs> M.I. Shout out to M.I. Shout out to him. I respect his work. We just have a difference of opinion. The only MC that if I enter inside the room and I see him, I could see Okay. You, you rate his artistry like brother. I want everybody to hear this. 
the only family. Maybe P Square can argue be contested. Emma and Jagoa Baga. Fuck. God damn it. When, at some point, when you left Chocolate City, the way it reflected on it is people moved making a business decision to say there's an element of family and there's some sort of beef between you and MI. How, over the years, you know, I know on the come up, you guys were close. You guys were stars and you guys were, over the years, how would you analyze your relationship with MI and how did, second, how did fame and success influence that relationship? Mm. Truth is this, family and business mix. Because in music, you are the business. Your spirit. The person you can never it. separate the two things. If your friend works with you, half of your spirit is towards business, half of it is towards that friendship. So choose your friends wisely. There's a, I think all I'll say and all I've done is, Am I is my senior brother. However, I'm not his fucking age mate musically. I can go ahead and sing the lad. But I don't be fucking me. No. People think you're better. People, I'm I, not talking about better. Okay. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about better. That's not what I'm talking about. Then what are you talking about? There's no better. Okay. There's nothing called better. Okay. I'm saying we're the only two motherfuckers that if you walk into a room, if I'm not there, and my nose is going to kill everybody. If I enter, even me, if I see him, both of us could just stop say, do you know what? Fuck, we're brothers. Shit. Growing up, how did you people, how did you people find, how did you people find music? Like how... How did music influence your relationship over the years? As a child, were you guys so happy at each other? How was it? Baba, well, we grew up in church first. Mm -hmm. Started rapping, rap. And I started, am I super, God, super talented. Am I is, is a comedian slash a footballer, spare, spare time. A rapper, a producer, a record, yeah, like, had to work hard to make it, you know. God damn, my brother was in my, my tumbling kingdom. <laughs> was, was, that, was, so, was that an air of competition in in-house? From day one, me and Emma used to post up as brothers, karate style, Bruce Lee versus, and uh, what's the, the other guy's name? Jackie Chan. No, no. The older guy. The American guy that did, um, what's his name? Um, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris is. Stop. Bow, bow. Boom. In the garden and be like, Emma will be like Jago. And at this point, we're just brothers. All these Emma and Jesse Jags came later. We're just brothers, man. We used to post up and have epic warfare. It was just Jesse and Jude. No, going doom doom, and I got him. He has his own, his own, his own stories too. He will come and lie to you. No? <laughs> but what did fame do to that relationship? What did blowing up? What fame? What? How did success in fame that relationship? brings cockroaches around? Brings wrath, and fame, as Jay Z said. It's the greatest drug known to man. Stronger than heroin. Power corrupts and absolute power will corrupt. Absolute. So I, I hate things. It influences your relationship negative, in my opinion. Not negative. Not negative. Then how did it? We're brothers. Me and Emma have never fought publicly. Okay. He knows now. If I catch him in Abuja in the family house, I go. <laughs> you think catch me? I don't do him something. Yeah, yeah. me my go. They talk. Now my senior brother, Baba. We have our own relationship. That's not the world's issue. We have always been brothers, man. 
you are a man and you have a brother, you know what I'm talking about, man. He's your OG, he's your dog, but he's also your opponent, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to him. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him, my dear G. But beyond that, beyond bond of brother, do you say beyond anything? Do you say you prepare the, like you said, you mentioned times in the past. Do you say the world has fairly reacted to how much you have given it? Boss. Boss. Yeah. The world can fucking suck my nuts. The nuts. These nuts. Sit back out. Now, my point is this. Who knows who built here? No one truly knows. Suck these nuts. <laughs> when, you really, when you release your music, you know, you put this, your language, this, your enlightenment into it. Do you think people get it? Like you talk about Babylon, you talk about boss, H Hill Selassie. Boss, let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you the truth. For all fella spoke about in his music and we couldn't achieve answers. Thing is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> These nuts from eternity, nobody ever listened to the message. People always followed the messenger and through the message. How fly is the messenger? How short is he? How tall is he? How and left everything the motherfucker came to say. No. Even elected the people who brutalized and, 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 and elected them to power. Obas and Jai Buhari did their thing to Fela, but still elected them into power. And every day we wake up and say, Shout out to Mili, but he's, this is trophy movement. <laughs> no, Mili is a great guy. Mili came, Mili guided me all through the journey. He was such a supportive person. Are you sure you weren't scared from the airport? That, no, I wasn't. That room. I wasn't. I, 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 I go towards the thing. Did you see cops when you were on your No, I stopped. I did. No, I, I saw policemen, but they didn't stop me. If they stopped, you just called my name. Okay, I grant jail them to <laughs> thank you, sir. Jesse. Why are you in Joss, Jesse Jacks? Why not? Why? Why not? I'm asking you. I want to know more. Should a man not live where he's born? It's not a crime. It's a man's holy land, not where his fucking feet are. Shall a man not eat from where he's born? Shall a man forsake his home? Why not? Doing in Lagos. I went on Lagos on excursion for 10 years. And Lagos, I tell all the artists in Joss, you need to go to Lagos. It's something it does to him. It's mine. When you are done, don't forsake your home. Go back. Go back. We all know it's one of the fakest cities, too. Yes. We all know, nigga. We're, we're in that elite. Smoke, smokes and mirrors. Elite categories that you can go for everything, but we saw oh, smokes and mirrors, man. So, in your time in Lagos, what was your experience? No, my time was good. My time was good. Shout out to Eva. Shout out to Omaomi. Special shout out to Brimo. The homie. Special shout out to Kai Baba. I have so many friends in Lagos. Shout out to Vector. Shout out to Yolamide, Don Jazzy. Like Lagos is a nice place to good people there. there are good musicians there. Shout out to everybody. WCZ, um, Burner, AKA. Shout out like to the whole Sako D, Stone Boy, shout out, what? shout out to everybody, man. We're doing it in Africa now, but let us make sure we own the farm. 
Let's make sure we own the farm and the land. Because it's ours. Let these companies who have eaten other people's destinies not come and deceive us again. Let's have our own. Let's hold our governments to work. Straight up. In just what have you seen in just your time here? Do you, don't you no hold on before that? Don't you ever have the fear of missing out? Things are happening. Every time you turn on you don't turn on the news so much, but every time you turn on the news, there's Lagos, everything Lagos, Lagos. Don't you ever have the fear of missing out on the action? Baba no be pawn, they reach you before you even ask for her. <laughs> This no be 1992. He is not. I'm being a village. The person that created cryptocurrency, do we know who he is? Sapashin. Is he a real human being? No. We have no idea. And the fuck, is that not the first sign that they're fucking with you again? Was money not a scam? Wealth transfer. Where banks not a scam themselves. Unless you haven't read. Eh, unless you're not there. So tread this world carefully. What has been will be. There's nothing new under the fucking sun. Your time will come and it will end. Make sure you leave something behind that is worthwhile. To come to whether you de mass or uh, Okay. So, how has Joss treated you? God. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. Let, let me say this. You want me to give you the brutal fact? Tell me how it is, brother. I can take it. Boss. Boss. I wear camouflage in Joss and oh. drive past special forces. <laughs> when Burning Bush came out, they were in secondary school. Okay. can back me. It's not about breast and yash. Soldiers in Medukuri listen to burning bush and it saves them when Boko Haram comes. I'm on a different fucking... And in Joss, how do you think your presence has against the city? Being here is teaching these kids never to be afraid. A man should not be judged by his quantity, but his quality. A book should not be judged by its cover. It should be read. All these fucking nonsense things they taught us. Eh, just judge a book by its cover. Eh, dress the way you want to be addressed. So because I don't have clothes, you treat me differently? Treat me as a lesser being. Thank you. Then that means you are a lesser being. The truth, this is my home. This is where, what? I'm more popular than the governor of Joss. Who is the governor of Joss, sir? What's his name? Jesse Jacks, the people. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm serious, I'm serious. No, I'm, I'm being very serious. What's the governor's name? Yeah, Lalong. What's his full name? Solomon Lalong. You didn't put, you didn't put his excellency. <laughs> well, like, from, what the fuck? Like, you know, I, I don't, like, yeah, yes. How many people are following him on Twitter? I don't know. I've never seen him on Twitter. And I'm on Twitter all the time. Yeah, damn. So that's what I mean. And I didn't even bring Ice Springs into the conversation of Young L or, oh, like that. And Just has produced a number of artists. Just is, Just is a legacy city of art. Not in these recent years. What do you think was responsible for what happened in the, the past? fucking government. Did they support in the past? The fucking government. Like you say, outside of Lagos, Abuja, these other governors are street dreamy. Their states are shit. Their capital cities are nonsense. Nothing going on there. Some of these, some of these capital cities have only three clubs, poppy. You enter, you see only 20 people. Man, nonsense now, boss. 
tell me about that. This is how we want to generate ITR for states. Come on now, Papa. Since Crip Boys, have you seen any artists in the stratosphere of music from Jaws? Where's the go, am I? And this is the home of tourism? Is that the artist's work? That's the fucking government's work. So you're saying the arts, they don't get support. Come on, Baba. Look how much support Lagos government gives. A lot, a lot. Look how much they put on, put two put on, the, table. Put on the table and under the table. On that, look at how that much, table. Baba, on it is entertainment table. that runs Lagos. Yes. Yes. And there's a state that has a title, home of tourism, that has the best weather that the Chuck boys came from. This is a threat. That's what I mean. Like, no one. Enter office, no work. See what you <laughs> Do you think being in Joss has in any way affected? How do you think it has affected your career? Who gives a fuck? It's my career. <laughs> That's just the... Tesla make his own electricity source. He work. Nobody waiting. Elon Musk. They use now. They drive car by itself with battery. The tree you are going to build. They are not going to sit under the shade, sir. Oh, plants, plant. Next day, don't worry about the having. Plant again. Plant. Father, you recently got married. Congratulations. Lift. Stop lots of this. You sound really. You just sound like serial killer. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, let's cheers to that. Cheers to Cheers to that. Congratulations. Thank you. Living a lot, growing, growing up as a person, not even as an artist, as a human being. Shout out, Joey. Shout out to you, Jesse Jam. God damn, <laughs> Joey. God. If we tell them the story, they're not going to deliver. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let, let's, let's, I want to get your world view. I want to talk about how you see the world. Like, yes, the country you're in. And one thing you said, when one of your projects come to mind, Royal Niger Comp. What was on Royal Niger Comp? What are you trying to tell the world? Same exact thing. So we have been having conversations. Yes, we have. I'm sorry, fans. I don't mean to offend everybody, but there's too much information, but human beings are dumb. I, I agree. Even me, that access to technology every day, there's so much information, you cannot focus on anything. So we're forgotten. And the white man told us this. If you want to hide something from a black man, put it where? In the book. Put it in the playing out. Right now. All of us who are parents, our kids are addicted to the internet and we can't control them. Eh? Because we were raised a different way. Yes. Carry a virus that we have to unlearn. As Africans. I remember in the past, let me just give you this. I remember in the past where you ask a normal kid, like just evening, just catch a normal yeah. random kid on the street and say, how was your day? Tell me what you do today. And the child will say, uh, I ran after school. I played in the playground, kicked this one, kicked that one, played ball, I scored goals. I just keep going, I fought. Then I ran back home. On our way back, I got tested. I opened tap. I drank water from the tap. So, then, so, so let me tell you, sir. My own daughter yeah. is finishing from Abuja. Do you know why she left Lagos? Why? After four years of school, she landed with MI and they saw a dead body after they left there. Oh. And she called me herself to tell me, Daddy, we're all traumatized. I can't do this again. I'm too young to see this. I don't have the skills to do 
it's, it's too much. Let me go back to Abuja now, where I can just, eh, it's not too fucking crazy. So there's trauma that we all carry. There's trauma, the things we have to unlearn to really be able to, because Joey, everything in the world is sourced from Africa. Yes. yes. Every motherfucking thing in the world is gotten from where? Africa. Spiritual, mathematical, astrological, mental, everything. It traces them back to this country. It's Africa. Now our ancestors build the pyramid. White man, no one tells you. 80% of African history is, is Egyptology. Civilizations are crazy. Boom. But they got us. We're speaking their language right now. We're beating in school not to speak ours. Let's not pass it on to our kids. As a father, does, when you became a father, when you became a father, relatively, and knowing that you were navigating an industry, not as a father, as someone responsible for someone, your daughter is like grown. Yes. Like she, she can be your homie. You can call her your best friend now and she can reason with you. That's how grown she is. Did it influence how you move? In what way? She's the only kid born of an artist after Fella. This kid. That if, it's, if she's in the club and my song comes up, when they're playing your own father's song and it's about breasts and yash, and you're now older, <laughs> yeah, you're playing with music, the language of angels, what about you? Die young, pump yourself, you fuck. Waiting so long on tell us. After bowling, do Michael Jackson, no ball out so long. When you finish, wait to see. It's all vanity, man. It's all for nothing. It's all for nothing. That's the truth. It's as real as two plus two equals four. It's going to happen in every generation. So how do you now mean, how do you now maintain the, being a musician, you are the business. Man comes commodity. Do you know who taught us business? White man. That's what they call capitalism. Yes. Can art be sold? Can art be quantified? We found a way to do that, to measure it. Stratify it. You found the way, but is it not? Is your money it's not faulty? Is your whole economy not still rated by the dollar? It is. Is who you are not rated by always who the white man or what he is doing is? Oh, your podcast is not as good as Charlemagne's own or as Una slave and born you for it. You carry Africa inside you. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how have you been able to be someone who is in many ways commoditized for his gifts? How can you be when you do it and also maintain the separation between family and public life? Mm. My daughter has no picture online. For real? Is it, from, is it her choice or you, you, you made her do it? You bitch, nigga. May your child go tell you at age two, say, you know one be man again, you one be woman. You know, go slap the shit out of him. Come this life, you don't know, say, I born you. Nigga, there's order. God is order. Satan is chaos. 
there's order. There's order. I don't, I don't, I'm not online insulting my seniors. As great as I think I am, I have people I look up to. There are rooms I walk into, I greet them, I prostrate in front of them. And as I do, so shall others do for me. So shall others do for them. It's real. We're Africa. Africa is in boss. It's not outside, it's inside. We are. But without that lack of sense, which is a lot of what is going on, we're so poor. The material poverty is a, is a reflection of what is happening inside. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we come from. Worship white and Arabian gods. And then our own, they call traditional. We don't have a sense of know who we are. We don't tell stories again. We don't sit at night and tell stories again. We don't pass down traditions or we don't. Everybody's so interconnected, so fragmented. It's too much knowledge, no focus on what the person wants to actually know. So we know everything, but we know nothing. We know everything, but there's no skill. In our knowledge, we can't scale our knowledge. Kids that are playing soccer now are just looking at Ronaldo and looking at his body and saying, Omo, if I can shape up, I will get endorsement. I don't know how much work it takes to play on that level. For so long. For so For so long. They don't know what it is. Showing up everything. They don't know rejection. And the thrill of like proving yourself. And, and you have to prove to yourself and unto in the face of doubt and overcoming adversity and how that shapes your character as a person. Process. And that the only payment for that would be would have been the journey that you became a better person. That's all. That's the highest reward. That's all. self -imp. That's all. That you learned from the experience. That's all. So I first came here for myself where I no sign contract with all the fans. Or even with Ubangiji or God or in whatever language, you know, I no sign contract with them. Yeah, when I reach where they go, I go, Tien Agbada. <laughs> for stage, I go, get out of them. Ah. Now me be the spirit, sir. If I wasn't here, would I be Jesse Jones? Would the world be here? Would I have seen the universe? Would it exist? No, because I wouldn't be. It wouldn't exist. Because all your motherfuckers are here for me. This is a central thing, a, a central theory that guides my existence, especially how I approach the world. That creators are that the very life blood of life as it is. Everything we do now was exists because someone created it. Were you born Muslim or Christian? I was born or Christian. Christian. I was born into Christian. Christian. Celestial. Celestial. Yes, in Portugal. I think you guys Bible is at least we focus on the angels. At least twenty percent of the <laughs> Since Celestia, I was born in normal I was born, I, I, I was born and baptized into Sele. So I, was, I wore white garments. Now, what I mean about celestial thing is this. Yeah. Let me carry you somewhere. All right, cool. So in Yoruba culture, they are, they are very hard in celestial worship on angels. In in Islam, they call them jinns. Spirits that are attached to humans. White man has alien. You draw, you could draw like out uh, all you draw these positions. stories, not trying to tell us that we're living, we call it a material world, but it is the most fickle thing ever. 
nobody has control over what they are doing. Some other people put in 200,000 hours and they get nothing. Somebody puts in a thousand, gets some. We have seen old men become kings and be fools. We have seen young men promising become kings and become fools. Everything is vanity. Final stretch. Thank you so much for being so candid. Thank you for honoring guests and being open or coming into your city. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. And we're not done tonight. Yeah, no, we don't have finish. After this, we go. There's a new project coming, Jesse Jags. The yep, season. family tree. Family tree. What is in family? What is family tree? Um, I'll say Jags Nation is in a new place. In I'm what way? With, I'm working with multiple companies. Yeah, shout out to HP, shout out to Chris Garage. Um, shout out to Larry Gaga, shout out to Def Jam, <laughs> shout out to MI, shout out to Task, uh -huh. shout out to Boom Play, shout out to Apple Music. Like, I am independent, so we, we have the luxury of being able to negotiate with companies themselves. Exactly. In terms of the music. What, what's different? How, how, how does growth, how does growth show itself in this, in this work? Do you know what I really think? No. I really think that there's an age you get to and there's going to be a generation just below you that won't understand. Then there's going to be another generation coming that will get it. And then you're going to have some OGs that will get it. And that's what evolution, sometimes you have to shed whole skin to start again. But that means you have to lose something. It's the laws of physics, it's the laws of chemistry, it's the laws of nothing can happen without something else. Something has to give. Boom, something has to push here for something to react. Equal and opposite reaction. And nothing is negative or positive. The system balances itself. Boom. It's life. It will eventually balance itself. So I don't worry. Because there's other. Baba. Oh, oh. Now you bring yourself. <laughs> yeah, why do you worry yourself? Uh, and in family tree, like, did you talk about, like, did you talk about, like, growing up? Forever black. I was carried on my mama back. No Sarah lack. Trust Jah, see I never lacked. And even though cheddar never stacked, I hell I'm back. It was cold and my sweater slacked. Man, I born where the weather sold. One of the greatest stories is ever told. Whatever heaven hold, I know it's gold. I know it's gonna come back sevenfold. Many places I couldn't go, and a river flow. This life just give and go. What you living for? What you in it for? Dead man can't reap what the living know. And this life is forever green. Seraphim, let me take you realms that you never been. We're young and we restless. Sundays it feels like breathing asbestos. Boom! Have that, Joe. Have that. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Have that. I'm excited for your projects. Let me tell you why I'm excited when you want to release music. I'm excited for you because I'm addicted to originals. People who music flows within them. I, I feel like there are people. Nature, especially me, to create. So it's, you can, some people say it and they call it talent. Same person can say it's a gift. Mm. Yes. Okay. And I know they always have that discussion football wise. Not about, nature. about Ronaldo and Messi. People say, oh, Ronaldo worked harder. Messi was gifted. No. Gifted. 
both gifted. And they both worked hard. And they both worked hard to bring it to that level. Talent is work and work is talent. So, with your project, what I usually anticipate from it is elite artistry. I look forward to listening to your project and becoming a better person mm. than before I clicked play. Yep. So, they, let me tell you the song I go back to in all your projects. Should I tell you? Which one song? Which one? It should shock you. I'll play it truly. I'll play it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's let me edit. I'll play it. <laughs> Shout out to Afrobeat Intelligence. Boom! Afrobeat. <laughs> S is important. Intelligence. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. Yeah, they say scourge in the building. PHP. Shout out to President Zeke. Kozo. Mili. I see you. Nah, eh. Uh, but that's the awesome, man. God. Business, everything is so dull. This country helps. Nah, eh. He gave him, yeah. But, man. Because you want me one more bottle, yeah. And even the one. See, okay, you know one bottle, yeah. More one bottle, start the lodge, because. Can we do the last 10 minutes and I give you my top 10 best Jesse Jacks records? I will. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Just 30, 30, 30 seconds of every there's, there's, a, there's a part of this record I want people to trust. I want for today. I want to hear it. 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 There she goes. Yeah. Only to those that see her. There she goes. Yeah. Are you ready to be that opportunity? She might never talk back again. Opportunity. She might never talk yet again. Kai bili be bili be ndu. 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 Shout out to Rex. Are we Rex? That's who did the yeah. Did the chorus. Shout out. Dope, sir. Yes, recorded live. It was such a, it's such an existentialist record. Recorded live. So I, I, while it was playing, you know. Shout it, out to Star. No, to Gulda. Yeah. Uh, uh, was it Fox? Well, it, so that's shout out to Gulda. That sound was a Gulda bottle you were striking. What were you striking it with? A spoon. Oh, no. Empty. So that, think, think that whole click, yeah, is a Gulda bottle. This is, this is the level of artistry that I anticipate with your projects. Um, shout out to the caveman coming through on the album. Uh uh. Ah 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 ah. Down Babylon. Gun gun gun. I can't wait. Gun gun. I can't wait. But for you, shout out for you yourself. Like, what are your top ten Jesse Jags records? When when you think of your of your disco grand so, sis, Lord, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. In no particular, hit me. God on the map. 30 seconds, God on the back. Yeah, sound down. Are you online? Uh, as you're here, like it is. God on the mic, 30 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. God on the mic. We have two more minutes. Okay. I'm going to give you top 10, 30, 30 seconds. I'm calling them just. Let me hear that. Let's go. Let me hear the first word. Or oh, from the sky, like a discourse. A God is falling from a demons. It's just stagnation, baby. Curled from the sky like a discus. A god is falling from a gympus, thrown from high. The phone from the sky, why? He should live alone till he die. He forged him a sign, endorsing his crime. Sovereign and rhyme, enforcing the laws of the lords of the shine. Born with his spine, formed from the remnants of Optimus Prime. It's just darkness, words formed in his mind. Blind, double-edged sword through the rhyme. So a nigga got resourceful with his time. The forces of time, life formed in his kind. Servants in the vine for the merchant of Government sly, army for army, cloak. 
the place where they found him, the disgrace was around his place in the place and you sigh and the rod that'll strike. Make way for the God or the mic, his words for the strike. <laughs> God or the mic, love on the mic, force for the strike like Joe's on the mic. So on my, on my second verse, I end saying, I ride on the cars most. I'm almost God's ghost. With a bard. Why is that song important to you? Boom. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. What's, what was the significance? Shout out to the triangle of rap in Nigeria. I won't, I will say hexagon. Shout out to everybody on Lamy Day. Shout out to the king, Da Green. Shout out to M.I. Shout out to everybody, even Mode 9. Moro, you know, you don't know, you know, they fuck with me now. If I come to studio, they bring my chat, I will come out to your kneecap. Um, uh, so shout out to everybody, I think. No, no. Okay, next song. Song number two, are you ready? STC Jago. Name of the song is called Vipers. This is Vipers by Show Them Camp uh, featuring. Shout out Jesse to Ghost. Tech. Shout out to Tech. Yes. Boom. Yeah. Wiley is amazing. Shout out. Jesse Jags and Tommy Thomas. Shout out to Tommy Thomas. Shankill. <laughs> Looking up to heaven, then he's walking. Fucking with that devil, please ignore again. Had to be the rebel to explore, he said. When hand opens the devil, that's the door, my friend. Head out to the middle, I'm drawing it. Bucket seats, bread, and gore again. Had to turn the table, set the score again. No. There's no comparing us, nobody nearing us Made it to the top, man, there's nobody here with us Sending search parties for my peers, I'm gonna bear with us Trying to pass the torch, but these guys know they're near enough A different story went in front of their fans Call them hush puppy, niggas like to do it for the gram This is bang, man, this is the camp All my these the champs, dropping classic after classic I don't think you understand Don't respect this guy's wiggle, they check Know the best, but they never admit They go deflect, see the threat Know that show them I've come here to collect This not shop, give no team wiggle, take off your neck, man they never picture this kind of flex, man. We plan it when they decide to rescue them, pan me, but we find them best. So it's fresh, I understand the test, but as marked that step, so we're blessed now. We born again, talking to your vipers. Kill them with that kindness, get behind us. Had to take the mission, take that feeders, digest. Now I got them running murders in the 90s. Chainsaw got me chipping in the nicest. Had them bowed, running with them, the divers. Had them lean back, put up your life. Kneel for your hand. I ain't fix me, <laughs> Misty Cloud swiftly, wanna eclipse me. And when you, beautiful, why do you like that record? I love that record because STC. Sorry guys, um, Joe is actually recording in Five Star Hotel. <laughs> Hanging out, they're yeah. bringing him food yeah. inside. That's the noise you yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Enjoy his life. Like I said, He's living the life. Old, te <laughs> Old Testament hospitality. He's living the life. And yeah. thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, shout out to STC. Yeah. I have a top 10 cap in Nigeria of MCs I listen to. That I respect. Only top 10. Every year is only top 10. And it can't change. But I only have a... Is one of them in I don't listen to more than 10 MCs. MCs in any, of them, any of them in this. What of them? All them in fucking... Steve. In Ghost. Ah! God 
damn, those are two of the coldest motherfuckers I've met on earth. Shout out, shout out to SCC. But those who are in the- And I come through niggas, man, baba. Always, always. Red deal for this, man. Shout out. But those who are listening. I'm honored to have been on that record. I'm honored by them to have been called to I'm honored. Shout out. For those who are listening, uh, Show Them Camp, aka as they say, the Nigerian rap duo, uh, made up of Wally Davis, aka Tech, and Ogumide Ayeni, aka Ghost. So, yeah, they've been around for a long time. <laughs> so, what's your next track? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, since you're reading offline, type DHP now. Give shout outs. So. Give, give some, okay, so give so some, do some business. Shout out, Joey. Shout out, BHP Music. Chris Garage. No, um, me, me. Yeah. Okay, PH. Never get uh, company. Give me your jello fries. Okay. So. Yeah, so shout out to BHP Music. Uh, you can find them on Twitter at B, on BHP Music on this call official. I think the special and some of the things they do and the artists they have mm. are just. So, can, can we play a record from there? Yes, give me a record. What record? Which of Zik songs? Which song? Or Zik and Suran? Which one? On the way. On the way. Huh. A minute and 50. A minute. What's okay, that? What's the pie? Which of your artists? Then Zik. On the way. Trying to run. Yeah, but. Have you had bouncing in the lot? So this is this is on the way. This is on the way from straight from PHP Music. This is on the way by President Zeke. Yep. Trying to run. Yep. yep. Gangsta. I'm me on the way. No weapon fashion fit to harm me anyway. Tell them no more drama, send the farmer far away. Lick a shot one time for my real ones on the way. For my real ones on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't come around tonight, fuck around or lose your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a shooter, it's on sight. It don't matter, black or white. Every time I roll the dice, it's so precise. MOP is cold as ice. Flow make me possessed like a poltergeist. The biggest scam is thinking this came overnight. Been grinding, we told the rain. Right all my shit potent like a cobra bike. Once I roll that doja nice, I'm floating. To the MC show devotion to Jehovah, I and I. Take them all desiring when I knock them out like I am Mike. Spiritual world, I got him singing by your bikes, causing death. All my lives were laced with that cyanide, mistook me for the quiet type. Step into the fourth, now it's a silent night. I had him shook, they jaw dropped. Put some hard call shots, kill it. Boom, shas. Y'all niggas should shazam that shit. No, no, like, easy. So, just has a number of these artists. If this is not, no, you see. Jags Nation is international. BHP is there too. But we come from two different states in the north. And this is the education I want to give to the south. Okay. We're, we're not all house. There's 155 tribes or 57. I don't know the correct number. 200 and something. So many more. Just here on the plateau. Plenty, man. Yeah, we're not... We're not like how the South is, that it's only Yoruba. Uh, we're not all house are clean. Uh, Emma and Jesse Jags are Chamba. Yeah. Chamba, Chamba, Chamba. Shikun. We have our own Quarara Fa Kingdom. Google that shit, motherfucker. Uh, uh, Google that, Quarara Fa Kingdom. Give them a brief overview of that, where I come from. Chamba. Quarara fucking domes. K W A R A F A R A. Quarara fa. 
spell to us pronounce. Yeah, found it. Thank you. So, Kwarafa um, is multi-ethnic states first in, uh, of confederacy centered along the Benue River, Benue River Valley in what is today central Nigeria, Middle Belt, central Nigeria. So this is where they hide the history. It was, it was southwest of the Borno Empire and south of the Hausa State. Borno? So, 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 so they're they already to... talking about yeah. Medukuri. Yeah. So they were just prominence before 1500. They're in conflict with their more powerful neighbors in the 17th century and reduced to a small tribute state by the 18th century. It is believed that Parorafa was either a confederacy conquest state led by the modern Jukun people, or perhaps a collective name given by their Muslim foes for a number of pagan peoples to the south. Now, this is my problem with Google. Do you know how they end the story? How do they do it? Don't even know what the fuck happened. Who are your people? Tell me just. Now, I am from, I am Egyptian, I'm Ethiopia. The word Igbo, it's an English name for the people. That's not who they call themselves. The word Yoruba is English. The word Hausa is English. That's how they get us. Twisting the history right in our front. That's why you're educated. If I can teach you the numbers and the letters, I can change what is inside your head. How Salam? <laughs> I like the way you ask this. <laughs> I like the way you ask this, you guys. But boss, my point is like this history is not in school. This history is not in school. It's a fucking event. <laughs> That's how we invaded Lagos. <laughs> um, shout out to Ice Cream, shout out to Emma, shout out to the whole conglomerate. So when you guys were called the Chuck Boys, when you guys were called the Chuck Boys, I hated it. Why? Wasn't that a, a good brand to sell? It's got in a fucking group. When Chuck I said to sign me, I'd be Jesse Jags already. I'm not a group. You're not like a boy band. Yeah, so that's why I left. Instead of going for shows where three of us have to perform together, I'm like, man, fuck this shit. But this guy signed out to me one direction. That's why I came here. This is my West Life. I'm worse off. My senior brother is in the group. Fuck this shit. <laughs> 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 Fuck how, the, how, the, how, the, how did you protest, how did you protest against that? Nigga, let me tell you the truth. Nobody can dispute this. I am the engine of music. I am the producer of the music. When I left, the only thing Chocolate City could do was hold on to the album. I did it. They couldn't send me to court. I could scatter them. And I don't even have their time now. I'm waiting to make the album get egg first. And I go carry the whole nation come for you. This is a threat. And I'm going to take that seriously because let me open this. Referencing the paragraph were invading. They have the record successful invasions of Hausa land, specifically against Kano around 1600. And again, in the middle of the century, in the 17, in the 1670s, the Kwarafa assaulted Kassina, sacked Zarya, and launched that. Sorry, sorry. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? People are such a video. No, are you ready? Are you ready? No, are you ready? No, no. Let me shock you. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? Let me ask you. Are you ready? Google Taraba State. Google Taraba State. Google Taraba State. Google it on Wikipedia. Open Wikipedia Taraba State. Go to popular personalities on that Google list. Go to there. Open it. Shock. 
opened it. Who is number one? Aisha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aisha Jopai. Who is number two? Emmanuel Boach. Who is number three? Your fellows Danger. Who is number four? Darius Isha. Who is number five? Salem Aman. Who is number six? Mahmoud Mohammed. Now, this has been updated because of politics. Who is number seven? Mahmoud. Uh, we're Jolly Yami. Who is number eight? Tam Baba Suntai. Nine. So, Abu Bakar is ten. Tribe. Now, nobody knows these fuckers. Eleven. That, that's all. This is a fake list. Check again, Wikipedia. Check. This has been changed. And you know it can be changed. I don't need two people from Taraba State. Chudabaga and Jesse Abba. Thank you. Check. I'll put my phone. You go see him. Check. Famous and notable people in Taraba State. I'm seeing this. Since your names keep popping up. Now, these politicians have come again. Wikipedia pages can be changed. Yes, I, I do a lot of edits. Thank happen. you. Uh, edits. So they have added their names. I don't know all those people. Didn't do anything for the state. Paraba State has only one college and one roundabout. And one town, Jalingo. And one hotel, Jalingo Hotel, where... The ceiling they fall from lizard go they sleep with you for a gamma lizard will be normal lizard. Ah, okay. So with all of this, with all of it, um I like this final question. You came into this world as as you know, Jesse, a bagger. And over time, like what you have given to the world has brought you prestige. What you've given to the world has brought you like multiple, it's a multitude of gifts, prestige, purpose. No, it's blessed you, it's blessed your family, it's blessed everyone who has been in contact with you. But end of the day what's most important to you what do you in all of this like when it all boils down what is this for you? Baba I follow the it's no greater me down this it's right it's nothing myself if I wasn't here this world wouldn't yeah. I wasn't born all this wouldn't matter to me so, it's so. only here because I'm so. that's a great perspective to have um, it's only here because you are here Joey it is inside you sir it is you, when they say no, they're just telling you yes. When people say yes, they might be psycho fans, 90% of them. Well, you're just here as a human. Make your mistakes, get your glories, laugh, live, shit, fuck, eat. That's life. You only know what, what is now, what is present. Don't get a house that's bigger than you. Why? Baba, even if you're my trust, now this whole hotel room where you did, now one place you will sleep now. How many cars can you drive at once? No, no, I just have one car. No. How many prick you get? I want to go another. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I saw one guy who advertised something that can ah. help on my side and I'll go and you get Shouted it at the market, so I'm going to buy it. <clears throat> don't, don't, do, don't, don't do this, oh, please. Don't do that, Joko. The universe, shout out, Joey. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so honored. Thank, thank you for you. inviting thank me you. to the city. And I hope Joss has made a good impression on. I love Joss. I'm going to go to KD.
I will. I have to go to Kaduna. It's something. Kaduna is something that signs to fly. Around. It's something that someone takes me to to Kenya. Go. Like I don't mind going to. Yeah. I even appreciate this because this is a break in like my normal life. Like I would have been somewhere now, probably gone drinking this evening. <laughs> I, I'll still go drinking this <laughs> evening. <laughs> I'll be Baba no go shoot to Pokro. That, well, <laughs> that remains to be seen. Shout but, out to Berna. Yeah. Shout out to you. And thank you, thank you so much for the work you have done, the work you're doing, and the work you continue to do. Thank you for showing us that it's important that mastery of self and mastery of your art leads to like a greater reward, mm. both in the tangibles and the intangibles. But overall, you're better putting in the work. You're better. You are not growing. Yes. You're not things going to Exactly. And thank you for doing that and showing us this. Lessons, brother. Boom.